good day everybody how are you doing uh, we're going to talk about another problem in vectors so i'll share my screen with you three forces with magnitudes of 75 pounds 100 pounds and 125 pounds act on an object at angles of 30 degree 45 degree and 120 degree respectively with the positive x-axis. Find the direction and magnitude of the resultant force. So the first one is magnitude is 75. So it is 75 cosine 30 degree I plus 75 sine 30 degree J. Because 30 degrees the angle it makes with the positive x-axis. So cosine of 30 degrees square root of three by two. So the first term become 75 multiplied by square root of three divided by two times i plus 75 sine of 30 degrees half. So 75 divided by two j. Now, if we use our calculator, we will find out that the first coefficient of i is 64.95 and the coefficient of j is 37.5. Next, F2 is magnitude is 100 and it makes an angle of 45 degree with the positive x-axis. So it's 100 cosine 45 plus 100 sine 45. We know the value of cosine 45 and sine 45 are same degrees, and it's one over square root of two. So F2 is equal to 100 divided by square root of two times I plus 100 divided by square root of two J, or 70.7 I plus 70.7 J. Now F3 has a magnitude of 125, and it makes an angle of 120 degree with the x-axis, positive x-axis. So F3 can be written as 125 cosine 120 i plus 125 sine 120 j. So when we use our calculator, we'll find out cosine of 120 degrees negative as you'd expect because it's in the second quadrant. Find the value in the calculator multiplied by 125. It is minus 62.5, okay? Next one is um, sine of 120 degree. That should be positive. It's in the second quadrant where sine is positive. So find out sine 120 degree from your calculator, multiply with 125 and you get 108.25 J. Now we are going to find the resultant force by adding F1 plus F2 plus F3. And we will get 64.95 plus 70.7 minus 62.5 in parenthesis, that's the coefficient for I. And for J, it is uh, 37.5 plus 70.7 plus 108.25. So the resultant force is 73.15 I plus 216.45 J. Now we need to find out the magnitude of the resultant force, which is, square root of 73.15 square plus 216.45 square. And the magnitude works out to be 228.47 pounds. How about the angle that this uh, resultant force makes with the positive x-axis, okay? That will be theta, which is tangent of inverse. The y component, which is 216.45 divided by 73.15, or theta is tangent inverse 2.9589. So theta is 71.32 degree. We found us that out by using the calculator. So we know the resultant force makes an angle of 71.32 degree with the positive x-axis. You also know its magnitude, which is 228.47 pounds. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a note using the comments section. And please subscribe to my channel. I'll come back next time with another problem. See you. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.